Welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Vampires Part 13 and the final episode of the series. So this is it. Lena might have found some answers to her family and that is thanks to her husband who used his vampire abilities to hunt down some information. So he used his... Oh, that's... That was, fancy. <laughs> he used his connections and his prowess as a supreme vampire to kind of find out some information. So, uh, it looks like some people are here. And I'm not seeing the person I want to see. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's talk to him a little bit. Ask about his day. Dag, dag. And maybe kind of get to know him. We have bumped into these people before, but we really didn't know anything about them. And if we go up here, maybe? It looks like the person I'm looking for is not home. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, so we're going to have to wait. <laughs> So, anyways, I guess I can introduce you. So, I'm not going to say much, but this Elf? is Aha. Emilio Emrick, oh, and no, this Jim. is his son, Dorian Emrick, and his older daughter, Alita Emrick, who we've met before. And the, where's the other one? Oh, 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 here we go. Over here. Come on. <laughs> uh, this is Ivy Emrick, and that is also his daughter, and his wife, who is who we're waiting for, is currently not home. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, just talk to him a little bit and be like, hey, you know, I'm looking for your wife. I know you've seen me around town before, but we have, we're hoping your wife has some information about my family. So I'm going to out. I'm pregnant. Maybe just talk to him a little bit, get to know him. It's kind of awkward. She's not home. She's not home. <laughs> So it looks like the person we are waiting for has finally showed up. And this is uh, Amaya Emrick. And we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves to her. I love how she's just like flying everywhere as a bat. That's fantastic. So she's uh -huh. like, hi, um, right my name is say. Lena, and I no, share the vampire knowledge. So I was told that you might have so information so. on my family. She's like, my name is Lena Do Salvatore. Lena she's like, what? Lady. Lena Rhythm? Salvatore? Yeah. Oh, my God. Snow Bay, please. Uh, so <laughs> let's, let's add her to a group because she that? actually uh, has on. something she wants to show us. Mm. So let's go mm. ahead and add a group. Mm. And we're going to come upstairs. Oh, I didn't mean to add everybody to the group, but okay. Cool. <laughs> that works. So, as you can see, uh, this painting looks very, very, very familiar. And she has a coffin in her house. So, that's a little weird. Um, so, let's go ahead and... I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, for purposes for storytelling, um, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Let's see. Okay, for purposes of storytelling, <laughs> I'm going to add her to our family. Uh, so she's like, yeah, so just a second and let me let me show you a little something that I, I have going on here. Um, are you going to do it? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna do it? Dun dun dun! That is the same woman from the photo. The same photo that Lena has in her house, and um, I think that she might be able to tell us a little something. So, of course, Lena is going to be shocked as all hell because she didn't look the same. But, again, if you had this outfit, 
uh, you're not going to be walking around town in it necessarily. So she's like going to get to know her and kind of ask what is going on. And she's going to tell her basically. So let's let's have her explain to Lena the dealio. Um, let's see. What what can we do? Let's talk about family. Well, it's both about family, but we're going to pretend we're talking about family and just tell her what's happening. Still She's like, so, Lena, uh, if your last name is Salvatore, like you say it is, then that means that you are definitely part of my family because my name before I was married to my husband Emilio was Amaya Salvatore which is Lena's last name before she got married and I wish that she could have kept it and I like she could have technically but MC Command Center kept changing it so <laughs> anyways uh, she's like well the interesting thing about that is I had a sister and my si hold on I feel like they need to be talking okay I'm trying to do a thing Let's, let's talk to her a little bit. <laughs> and my sister's name was Alita, which is who I named my daughter after. And she had a daughter named Lena. And Lena was a human because it was when my sister was still a human. And she uh, gave the baby away when she was turned into a vampire. She's like, I don't know what the frog's about, but she's like, she was turned into a vampire, and she had to give the baby away because she didn't want her to grow up in a vampire lifestyle, and, Alina, and Lena's like, oh, that's awkward, because now I am a vampire. And basically, if you look over here, we have this lovely picture, and this is a picture of Alita and Henry Salvatore. This is Lena's parents, so let's view view that. Um, this is Lena's parents and basically right now Amaya is telling her that they're very old as you can see by the photo right there um, and by the outfit that her aunt is wearing. Uh, they're very old and there was a time when vampires came through the village of Willow Creek and of um Forgotten Hollow and all those places and they changed the entire village and luckily for Lena at the time she was a baby and she was a human so her her mother gave her a way to protect her she's like oh my god my family gave her a way to protect her and in during like after the vampires came through then there was like a wave of vampire hunters and unfortunately they um, slaughtered all of the vampires that they could get their hands on, which was sadly Lena's family. So they are no longer with us, but Amaya is her aunt, and she just found her, so we're gonna go ahead and give her a hug, maybe? Are you gonna, are you gonna hug her? Let's, let's give her a hug. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Hug. We're gonna give her a big hug. Because this is all that Lena's ever wanted is to know her family and to kind of know what happened and why her parents gave her away and she knows that now and it might not be the happiest story but it is an answer so let's ask about the baby and she's like you're a vampire too and, Ale and Lena's like yeah my bad. <laughs> But she's like, I'm having a baby. And she's like, oh, that's so exciting. Oh, it's so sweet. I'm so happy for Lena. This is all she's ever wanted. So, I, I don't know. I, I hope that was exciting enough for you guys. <laughs> I mean, it feels like it's not the happiest ending but it is because this is all she's ever wanted and it's so nice because Amaya's got you know, she may be the only one that's blood related from like Lena's parents but she has a husband and she has another daughter and this is the one who's named after Lena's mom, Alita uh, so she has a daughter and she has two children two other children, one sleeping right there so she's got this big family now 
that she never had before and I think that it's so sweet and it was all a journey to find her family and she has her own husband now and her son and a baby possibly more because she's only in her one trimester she's only in her second trimester and she's massive so who knows how many children are in there um but yeah she found her family guys and she couldn't be more happy but I think for now we're gonna go ahead and head back home because uh you know oh but look at the cute little family moment it's so sweet my heart okay we're gonna go back home though because we do have a baby coming very very soon you know guys I was just thinking about it <laughs> and I said that um Amaya's last name was Salvatore before she got married which probably wasn't the case because if Henry Salvatore was Lena's dad then uh, it would make sense that her mom would have the same last name, but not her mom's sister, so my bad. P -p Pretend I didn't say that. Her last name wasn't Salvatore. Her sister's last name was Salvatore. I was just really into the moment, okay? <laughs> Honestly, wow. Lena is so happy. Like, I don't think I've seen her this happy in so long. Like, she's just, it's so nice to have answer. Her belly is, like, glitching through her dress. <laughs> it's so nice to have answers, even if, you know, she didn't find her parents, but she had hoped to find somebody and she did so uh. it's it's an exciting time for her and we're gonna go ahead and clean this can we clean this up please um she is about to welcome a new baby to the family uh it's been a few days since she was at her family member's house so i was thinking of maybe throwing a dinner party i mean i know they're vampires and not everybody eats and whatnot but we can still uh throw a little bit of a dinner party i feel like that would be nice but she does need to meditate first because she's getting pretty sleepy so let's go ahead and vampire dark meditation uh, Charlie, ooh, 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 boy, boy, we need to order some more plasma packs. That's getting dangerously low. Uh, so let's go over here. And we're going to order, uh, let's order some, is it not under order? Is it vampire? It's under vampire, isn't it? Uh, vampire. Yeah, order plasma packs, and we're just gonna get a lot of them, considering we're rich now, because we took all of Vla Vlad's money when we murdered his face, because he's the worst. So I'm just gonna stock up on these, so yeah. Don't have to worry about running out of those anytime soon. We could put them out for the guests, too, that would be nice. So Charlie is feeling himself as the supreme vampire he is he is down with it he's very excited and it's something he never thought he would want in his life his thirst is just not even going up at all okay there we go it's not something that he thought he would want like to be a vampire i figured he'd always you know he'd end up ending his vampire like curing his vampirism if he ever found a way but now he knows how to cure his vampirism and i don't think he wants to I think that he's nice. very content with so living forever Who's with it? his wife and oh, his children and her hands keep oh, glitching. I'm wondering if it's her nails. I mean, it would have to be, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and have a bit of a dinner party. Um, let's plan a social event. And we're going to do a dinner party. I'm not going to do a prestige event. And we'll just make them both the host. And we're gonna invite uh, Aaron, Amaya, Emilio, Alita. Oh, I didn't, I didn't meet the kids. Oh no. Um, I guess we can invite the Sarah person. Might as well, right? Uh, Candy hates us now. We'll invite J uh, Jade. She made a lot of enemies. <laughs> uh, okay, we're not gonna, we're we're not gonna do that, cause, uh. Our boy likes to cook so we're gonna yeah we're gonna we're gonna have it here so why don't you go in the kitchen and cook up a little something uh let's see cook and let's make uh i feel like he would make gumbo charlie strikes me as a, a little bit of a southern boy i don't know why but he does like i could see him well, not even southern necessarily but i could see him being from like louisiana or something yeah 
Oh my god. Ah. I love like oh. Louisiana accents. Not necessarily like Creole. Like some Creole, but there's just something about like Louisiana that I adore. I've talked about it before. Um but yeah. Let's go ahead and in or not invite, but greet. Let's greet our aunt. I'm so excited. Uh let's let's hug give her a hug. If I could talk. Let's give her a hug. Let's give her a hug. Oh, that's sweet. I wish we could serve like pictures of plasma. That would be nice, but I don't think that's a choice. So we'll just set a few out on the counter for everybody to enjoy. It'd be funny if Talon came and like tried to drink one of these to be like everyone else and got sick. I mean, that's not funny that he'd get sick, but we have so many. That, that's good. That's good. Okay. Awesome. Charlie, you do not want to eat the food. Let's call it a meal, though. That would be nice. You can't eat it because it'll make him sick. I think it will make Lena sick, too. Don't grab a serving. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I think everyone else can eat. Lena, uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. You, you help yourself to the plasma. Help yourself to the plasma, girl. It's so nice. It's that's a really cute jacket. Oh, that's not one jacket. I need to find somebody who like took the jacket off of the pants because I don't like the pants. Oh, see, that's nice. They're all yeah. He just barfed, and I didn't even have him eat. And he barfed. I don't get it. Oh, okay, Aaron, help yourself to our house, I guess. It's so nice though. She never thought that she would be having a family dinner. It's the sweetest. I'm very happy for her. Nice little dinner party with everyone that she cares about. I mean, her, her niece and nephew aren't here, but everyone else is. Um, let's go ahead and thank her for coming. And maybe enthuse about interest and get to know her a little bit. And be like, I am your cousin. And you can see the resemblance. Like, yeah, her aunt is more of like a brunette haired woman but look at the resemblance between the family still like they definitely are related she's so happy i can't it's the cutest okay let's go ahead and have a deep conversation with her and right away i think that we're gonna have to change lena's gloomy trait because i don't think she's gloomy anymore not at all. Nice. Meanwhile, Talon's in there watching TV. Talon, if you're hungry, your dog made you food. I'm eating some gumbo. Come on. Get it together, boy. Get it together. And just like that, Lena has gone in to labor. So that's interesting. During the dinner party, Charlie's freaking out. He's like, what are we going to do? There's people here. Um, is there? Is there? A oh, there's a crib up here. Cool. Let's go ahead and have this baby. I wonder what it's going to be. I think I already know what it's going to be. Did I decorate this room? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope it's a girl. <laughs> it's a very purple room. Uh, Let's see what it is. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. It's a girl. And I saw somebody recommended the name. Valentina. I think it was an E. Valentina. Yeah, there we go. Valentina. And I thought that that was super cute. Especially oh. if she is a little vampire. Is she a vampire? Is she a vampire? Is she a vampire? Is she a vampire? Oh. Is she a vampire? A but like, is she a vampire? How do I know? Does it say? <laughs> um, let's go ahead and breastfeed her and cuddle her. It doesn't say if she's a vampire. I'm assuming that she is because they were both vampires Hello. when they had her. So. Oh, I'm assuming yeah. she is a vampire, which is awesome. Little vampire baby. She wants to flirt with Charlie. We can definitely do that. Oh, there's her uncle. The joy. He's like, oh, you had a kid. That's not weird. Just having a kid at a, at a dinner party. Not weird at all. Oh, look, they're all coming to see the baby. Mm. That's 
She's such a good mom. Well, guys, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end the series here. I think that even though it was a shorter series and it was a bumpy ride here and there, I think that it was really sweet that two people, one who never thought that he would find happiness in being a vampire, and someone who never thought that she'd see her family and set out on this journey to find out more about herself, not only found her own family, but they both found love and created this new family together. And I think that overall it's a really sweet story, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this LP and that you're excited for more because, let me tell you something, Pets is coming, and I am so excited for cats. Uh, it's cats and dogs, I guess, technically, but... Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around and watching this series and enjoying and participating in it with me. It was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone!